Hello, it's Sarah from Allcraft TV, and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to crochet this colourful Parrot's Cool scarf. I am super excited to be sharing this scarf with you. It is super colourful, bright, and cheerful, and it looks amazing as an angled scarf with tassels. I actually received this Red Heart Super Saver striped yarn as a Christmas gift from my mum, and I couldn't wait to crochet something with it. The scarf measures approximately 191 centimetres or 75 inches in length along the longest edge and approximately 21 centimeters or 8 inches wide. I truly hope you enjoy crocheting this Parrot's Cool scarf and if you did please hit the like button and subscribe now if you are new here to stay up to date with my tutorials. There is also a written pattern for this scarf on my blog so come and check that out. And with that let's get crocheting. For this scarf you'll need two skeins of Red Heart Super Saver stripes in the parrot stripe. This yarn is really pretty and has lovely colours throughout which reflects the colours of parrots beautifully. Each skein is 215 metres or 236 yards and it comes in 141 grams or 5 ounces. The yarn is 10 ply or worsted weighted yarn. What I love about this yarn, other than the colours of course, is that you can pull the yarn from the outside or the inside of the skein, but I prefer the inside so the skein doesn't go everywhere on the carpet. You'll also need a 5mm hook, a tapestry needle, scissors and a measuring tape. The first section of the scarf is going to be increasing on one side of the scarf for row 1 to 26. To begin we need to make a magic ring. For row 1, chain 3. And double crochet 2 into the ring. That's one double crochet. And that's two double crochet. You should have three double crochets for row one as the chain three acts as one double crochet. Pull the ring tight. For row two, chain two and turn your work. The chain of two is only a turning chain. Double crochet 2 into the very first stitch. So that's one double crochet. And that's the second double crochet into the first stitch. Double crochet 1 into the next 2 stitches. That's one double crochet into the second stitch. And that's one double crochet into the third stitch or the chain of three. You will have four double crochets for row two. Working the two double crochets into the first stitch helps to increase the work at one edge only, forming the angled section of the scarf. For row 3, chain 2 and turn. We want to increase on this side only and keep this side straight. So double crochet 1 only into the first stitch. Double crochet 1 into your second stitch. Double crochet 1 into the 3rd stitch. Now double crochet 2 into the last stitch. That's 1 double crochet. And that's 2 double crochets into the last stitch which helps to finish row 3. To recap, row 1 has 3 double crochets. 
Row two has four double crochets and row three has five double crochets. For row four to 26, we need to repeat row two and three. So row two was increasing the stitches at the beginning of the row and row three was increasing the stitches at the end of the row to keep the angle going the same way. For row four and every even numbered row, chain two and turn. Work two double crochets into the very first stitch. That's one double crochet. And that's two double crochets. Now work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. So into the second stitch, work one double crochet. Into the third stitch, work one double crochet. Into the fourth stitch, work one double crochet. And into the fifth and last stitch, work one double crochet to finish row four. You will have six double crochets for this row. You can also start to see that your work is angling out along one edge only where we increase and the other edge is straight. For row five, chain two and turn. Double crochet one into the very first stitch. Double crochet one into the second stitch. Double crochet one into your third stitch. Double crochet one into the fourth stitch. Double crochet one into the fifth stitch. And into the last stitch or the sixth stitch, work two double crochets to be able to increase the row by one stitch. For row six to 26, you will need to repeat row two for every even numbered row and row three for every odd numbered row. Each row, you will also be increasing your stitches by one stitch only and increasing on one side only as well. So row six is increasing or working two double crochets at the beginning of the row and row seven is increasing or working two double crochets at the end of the row. I will leave you to repeat row two and three for rows six to 26, and I will meet you near the end of row 26. I am near the end of row 26, just working one double crochet into the last three stitches as we would have increased at the beginning of the row. That was my second last stitch. And that was my last stitch for row 26. You will have a total of 28 double crochets for row 26. This is the scarf from row one to 26. You can see that it angles upwards starting from row one on one side and the other side of the triangle is straight. Now for row 27 to 101, we need to chain two and turn. We need to work one double crochet in each stitch, so that will give us a total of 28 double crochets for row 27, all the way through to row 101. So double crochet one into this first stitch, double crochet one into your second stitch, double crochet one into the third stitch, double crochet one into the fourth stitch and just keep working one double crochet into each stitch along the row. I will meet you near the end of row 27. I have four stitches left for row 27. So that was my fourth last double crochet. That was my third last double crochet. That was my second last double crochet. And that was my last double crochet or my 28th stitch as you only want to double crochet one into each stitch. So for row 27 to 101, there will be no increasing or decrease in your work. You will just need to make a nice straight rectangle. I will show you how to do this one last time and then you will just need to repeat row 27 for row 29 to 101. So for row 28, chain 2 and turn. 
Double crochet one into each stitch along the row. So double crochet one into your very first stitch, double crochet one into the second stitch, double crochet one into the third stitch, double crochet one into the fourth stitch, and just keep working one double crochet into each stitch for a total of 28 double crochets. Remember that the chain of two is only a turning chain. I have two stitches left for row 28. That was my second last double crochet. And that was my last double crochet. You can see more clearly now that the bottom of the scarf angled outward and now the scarf is going to go straight. I will leave you to repeat row 27 for row 29 to 101 and I will meet you when row 101 is finished. We have worked row 1 to 101. This is the bottom of the scarf, row 1 to 26. And then you can see that we started to create straight edges. So this was part of the angled section and then row 27 to 101 is like a rectangle which creates the bulk of the scarf. Now what we need to do is create the other angled section of the scarf, but instead of increasing, we will be decreasing the work. Both angles of the scarf will need to go the same way, which is facing inwards. So if I just go back to row 101, you can see that we will need to start decreasing the rows at the beginning of the row for row 102. If we fold the scarf over, like how we would be actually wearing it, we need to create the second angled section of the scarf, which will go here. This one angles this way, so we need to create the other one to angle this way, and this edge stays straight. This means that row 102 will be decreasing at the beginning of the row, and row 103 will be decreasing at the end of the row. Row 101 has 28 double crochets and row 102 will have 27 double crochets because we are decreasing by one stitch every row. For row 102 we need to chain 2 and turn. Double crochet 2 together into the first 2 stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert your hook into your second stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through your remaining loops on your hook. And that has created a double crochet two together. Now just double crochet one into each stitch along. So into the third stitch, double crochet one, into the fourth stitch, double crochet one. Into the next stitch, double crochet one. Into the next stitch, double crochet one. And just keep working one double crochet into each stitch all the way to the end of the row. I just have a few stitches left for row 102. And now that row 102 is finished, you should have a total of 27 double crochets as the double crochet two together acts as one stitch. For row 103, we need to chain two and turn. Double crochet one into the next 25 stitches. So into the first stitch, work one double crochet, Into the next stitch, work one double crochet. Into this next stitch, work one double crochet. Just keep working one double crochet into each stitch and I will meet you near the end of the row to be able to decrease the work on one side only. I have two stitches left and into these two stitches we need to work a double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, 
Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert your hook into the second stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And yarn over and pull through the rest of the loops on the hook. You will have 26 double crochets for row 103. And you would have decreased on the same side as row 102. For every even row onwards, we need to repeat row 2. So for row 104, chain 2 and turn. Double crochet 2 together into the first 2 stitches, which helps to decrease the row on one side only. Now simply double crochet one into each stitch along the row. So into the next stitch, double crochet one. Into the next stitch, double crochet one. Double crochet one into the next stitch. And just keep working one double crochet into each stitch along the row. There are two stitches left for row four, so we just need to work one double crochet into each of those two stitches. That has finished row 104. You should have a total of 25 double crochets. Row 105 and every odd numbered row onwards, we need to repeat row 103. So chain two and turn. Double crochet one into each of the next 23 stitches. Into the first stitch, work one double crochet. Into the next stitch, double crochet one. Double crochet one into your next stitch. And just keep working one double crochet into each stitch. And I will meet you when there are two stitches left. Into these two stitches, work a double crochet two together to decrease the work by one stitch and decreasing the work on one side only. Once you have done that, you will notice that your work starts to angle inwards. For row 106 to 126, repeat row 102 for every even numbered row and repeat row 103 for every odd numbered row until you have three stitches left. Also, it is more clear if you put the scarf like this to be able to see which way the work is decreasing. I will leave you to repeat row 102 and 103 for row 106 to 126, and I will meet you at row 125. As you work more decreasing rows, you can see more of an angle forming. Once you are at row 125, we need to chain two and turn our work. Double crochet one into the next three stitches. Into your last two stitches, double crochet two together as it is an odd numbered row. You should have four double crochets for row 125. For row 126, the last row, chain 2 and turn. Double crochet 2 together into the first 2 stitches, like this. Now double crochet 1 into the last 2 stitches. You should have three stitches for row 126 and three stitches for row one to make the corners even. Here we have our two points of the scarf. If we go around the scarf, there's the section that resembles a rectangle and then you'll get to your next point of the scarf. To secure the work, chain one, pull up the loop and cut off the yarn and pull the loop through. Don't forget to weave in any of your ends. Chain 
The last step of making the scarf is to add tassels. They are completely optional, but if you want to stay with me just a little bit longer, I will show you how to make them. Otherwise, you can secure your work and weave in your ends to finish the scarf. The scarf looks lovely with or without tassels. I have already attached one tassel to one point of the scarf and I decided that I wanted to match the tassel with the green, so I did mine in green and a light blue. The green is in the inside of the tassel and the blue is covering it. For the other tassel, we are going to be attaching it from the back of the work and attaching the next tassel here. So I'm going to be using this blue and this blue down here to make the second tassel for the scarf. But you can choose any colors that you want or just do a plain color. You will need a piece of card approximately 10 centimeters or four inches in length. I am just going to start wrapping this darker blue around the card 12 times. Don't forget to leave the tail on one side of the card only and then just start wrapping the yarn around. I chose to cut off my yarn and pick another colour, but you can just let the yarn change colour naturally, it's completely up to you. Now wrap your second colour over this first colour another 12 times. So you'll have it wrapped around a total of 24 times. Make sure that your tail is on the same end as the first one. Now snip the yarn off at the bottom of the card. Grab a strand approximately 30 centimeters in length of the second color and slide it underneath the strands on one side of the card. Push the strand to the top of the card Tie the two strands together tightly, which will form the part that will get attached to your scarf. Now slide all of the strands off the card. Once you have done that, grab another piece of yarn the same color and start wrapping around all of the strands roughly one centimeter from the top like this. Tie the two strands together Grab your hook and insert your hook through the part where you just wrapped the yarn around and then you want to yarn over with those strands and pull through the work to hide your strands in the work To attach the tassel to the scarf, grab your tapestry needle and insert one strand through the eye of the needle. Push the needle through the bottom of the work going from the back to the front. Now with the other strand, go from the front to the back of your work.
tie the two strands together and then poke the two strands going from the top of the work to the bottom using a tapestry needle. Be careful not to squish the tassel. You want to make sure you've got that nice circle on top of the tassel. Now cut the loops and trim off any excess yarn. And there you go. Just repeat this with your other end of the scarf. You can choose any colours that you'd like to create these tassels. Or you can just do one plain colour. It is completely up to you. To show you the scarf one last time, we have the two tassels here at the bottom, then the angled section of the scarf, and then the rest of the scarf that goes around your neck. I hope you enjoyed crocheting this Parrot's Cool scarf, and if you did, please hit the like button and the subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with our tutorials. I would love to see your amazing work so please tag me on an Instagram post or upload a picture on our Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching, have a lovely day and I will see you next time.